everybody, welcome to Northern Land Tries Furry Fury. I know what you're thinking, stop it, it's not that kind of game, unless you want it to be, and that is really, to be honest with you, not any of my business. Um, but what is this then? It is a free-to-play turn-based puzzle battler. Now, it's intended to be online multiplayer, you know, 1v1 or 2v2. It doesn't have the community there for me to reliably show that right now. There's only two players online, of which I am one, so I have to pray that the other person is uh, trying to play against me. But it also is a fully-fledged adventure mode that I've been playing here a little bit as well. Um, let me teach you how to play here. Because I think it's kind of a nifty, neat little game. Um, that is, it, you know, when you hear free-to-play online game, I don't know about you, but I have certain, you know, uh, ideas that pop into my head. This feels like a, a, a really, like, it feels like an NLSS game, like a 1v1 NLSS sort of game. So basically, I am green ball. I have to kill other ball. And the way that you do that is by bumping into them. You can see I have... Uh, 12 HP and then the other symbol means I have one damage. He has 11 HP and two damage. The way that you determine damage is when you roll into an enemy, one of you takes damage. Damage is dealt by the enemy that is traveling. Poisonous flower. When hit deals two damage makes you temporarily blind. So uh, when you hit whoever's going faster does the damage. So here's what I'm thinking. These are neutral guys, by the way. Fuzzball. Grows when losing health, explodes on death, plus one attack every time you gather a potion. Don't worry about that for now. So I'm going to crank up my speed, and I'm going to ricochet here, hit the neutral, hope the neutral hits the rock into the poison flower. It totally worked. You mad genius. Unfortunately, it has left him pretty close to me. He hit me. He lost one. I lost two. I assume he loses one because of the poison flower. So there's also these... Uh, uh, little tonics around, or potions if you want to call them that. You can see I have abilities. So when I get two potions, at the end of the, each turn, I start to push enemies away. When I get four, I get plus one attack on my first hit of the turn. And on seven, I get a bubble that protects me from the first source of damage, maybe allowing me to be a little bit more aggressive. He has plus one attack every time he gathers, a, or maybe every time I gather a fury potion, I'm not sure. So here's what I'm going to try to do. You don't get a full preview of where you go, you're going. You just get a little. So I'm going to try to gather some tonics here. And then put myself pretty nice defensive position. If I dare say so myself. Where are you going, sir? He's going to pick up one. Okay, so it's every time he gets one. Fair enough. Now, you can also, of course, smash those uh, chests and have it you know, accomplish the same thing. You know, like, you'll, you'll get something out of the chest. Usually, I, in fact, now that I think about it, it might exclusively be HP. So I'm just going to grab this HP, and I did end up getting hit in the process because this guy hit me. But he's also in a world of hurt. So I'm thinking we should try to get him to explode. Work with me on this one, okay? I think we want something like... A little slower, a little slower, because I don't want to be there when it happens. And then, just work with me here. Use the preview, it's like playing Yahoo Pool. Quick send, push him. He didn't quite get the explosion, but you get the idea. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you're trying to do like chain reaction sort of stuff. Which is why I think it's, it's a neat... Uh, Sort of game compared to, you know, a lot of the stuff you see on Steam doesn't necessarily uh, scratch this same itch, you know? Especially ambitious to try to play... Oh my god, he does 7 damage per hit now. Uh, ambitious to try to make, like, a free-to-play online puzzle battler. And it's the kind of ambition that I could admire. I want to hit you into the poison flower. Not even close. Um, he does have 3 HP. He's gonna hit me. I took 8 damage, which is a lot. <laughs> Basically, in order to kill him, I lived, thankfully. I guess that's like a poison fog, maybe. In order to live and win here, I gotta hit you into the poison flower right here. 
That looks about as good as it's gonna get. Yikes! Uh, I would say that I'm probably dead. Why don't you just go ahead and hit me, sir? I misplayed, but I only misplayed to show the YouTube audience. Oh, hello. I only misplayed to show the YouTube audience how to misplay. Try me again in the adventures here. Start it up. I've never seen that options menu before. I want to take a look at it now. I'd previously ignored all the settings. Oh, it's just controls, emergency exit. Don't quit if you don't have to. Finish the match to gain experience points. That won't stop me. I can't read. All right, so this time, we got no potions right off the bat. What's my game plan? Turn one. I don't think you have to get too busy with it, turn one. You know, I think if you just want to come in here, maybe crack open some chests, maybe get some HP available for you on a future turn, by all means. He missed the tonic. We would do well to starve this guy of, of these potions here, if possible. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know what? I bet if we hit this extremely hard, we will get the top left potion. I gotta be honest, my, my Billiards play is apparently not what it used to be. He did do three damage to me and then... I, what are you doing, dude? That what an incredible move. He's, he's an actual legend. Okay, so I'm just gonna... My intention is to send this guy into next Tuesday. And have him pick up a tonic and then be in a perfect position to hit me for four damage on the next turn. How is it possible this is going even worse now? Okay, I, I have a plan on this one. The plan is... Oh mama, I'm afraid for my life from the long arm of the law. What? Oh, I hit the poison flower! He's gonna, he's gonna kill me. Can I get a restart? Can I just... He's too good! I didn't... <laughs> I promise you, prior to this, I had not lost a single game. Let your... I'm, I'm gonna... We're gonna go back to that one, but first, at least let me try to take this guy out, okay? Because it's not... I The first level and the second level, we're not this hard, you know? You look at this guy. Plus one attack every time he gathers a Fury Potion, no big deal. If you hit him into the spikes down here, it's three damage on touch. So what do you do turn one? I think is classic. You just hit him and send yourself ricocheting upwards. We got hit in the process as well. Clearly, I am a fool. Now here, I'm like, if possible, I'm looking at that angle right there, and I'm like, we get an ability out of this. I like that. I support that. And you're starving him of one of the, one of the potions as well. So we're unlocking our ultimate abilities through the power of, of sheer genius right here. I really thought that might deflect me into that one, but that's okay. We're powering up. See, the, our hero needs to be fed in order to do maximum damage. That, that was my mistake. So I think this is a super yeet. Yeah, just yeet yourself right into the spikes and then give him a great angle to hit you into the spikes again. I think that was a really good idea. Yeah, I think that was really shrewd and also smart of you. So now, please, this time, take me up. And I'll... Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest with you? I didn't play that much Angry Birds as a child. Um, I'm a little embarrassed I got stage fright. I refuse to walk it all the way back to the tutorial. So what we're going to do, we're just going to keep ourselves here. We're going to stay ready. We're going to stay frosty. Turn one, what do you do? You know what? Let's play it a little safer here. Let's just crack a chest and get into a good position and maybe pick up some potions next turn. He didn't get any potions. That's a dream come true. What do you want to do? I want to move just far enough to pick up two potions and not leave him a great chance to hit me. He is going to hit me, but he's not going to hit me into the spikes. So I, he, He's not going to hit me. He's going to hit himself into the spikes. It's not so easy, is it? What are you going to do next? Similar sort of move. We're going to pick up two more of these. And we do have our, our extra ability as well. Okay, so this time we can do some serious damage. I think you just want to crack him. Send him rattling around a little bit. 
And honestly, he, through the power of luck, he's not in a great position to do a lot of damage to us. As you can tell from his absolutely horrible move. And then, honestly, I think orange means self-damage. He is going to be able to knock me into the spikes here. If he chooses. And he chooses. But I still think we are, like, completely okay. So the dream is to knock him into the spikes. I don't think that's realistic. But we could do something like that. I mean, he's not going to kill us. Let's put it that way. He might hit us, but he's... Oh, if I had just put him close to the spikes, the spikes would have hit him too. This is all right. We, we have actually won the level. Okay. It feels good to actually win uh, one run in 11 minutes. And I, I'm always happy when I find games like this, to be honest. Because I think, A, they're like relatively cool like NLSS bits. And B, I love a good free-to-play Steam game that has merit associated with it. Like, we played so much Super Animal Royale this year. Yeah, we eventually bought the paid version, but when you're playing it, you're like, oh my god, this is free? And from, like, a, an asset and aesthetic standpoint, you sort of get it. As well as from the standpoint of, like, you know, you if you want, like, to build a user base for your game, it makes sense that you might want to uh, have it free. I think this is going to hit the stone. Look at that. And we're relatively protected, I think. Um, but in just in terms of, like, the, the fact... The game is designed... Like, there's two different types of free-to-play games, I guess, is the way that I would approach this. this. This dialogue. He hit two poison flowers and got bodied. Let's go. Um... There's two different types of free-to-play games. There's like, hey, this is going to be free-to-play because it would serve the game. And then there's the, hey, this is going to be free-to-play because, like, our monetization engineers determined that this is the best way that we can get peak revenue is by getting people in for free and then, like, kind of raking them over the coals with artificial scarcity later in order to... Yikes. But we did hit him. In order to... Uh... You know, get, again, as much money as possible later. I mean, I have blindness, so I'm just kind of going up here. Thank you. I was going to say thank you for not hitting that flower, but you definitely hit that flower. Yo, I see you. Hold on, hold on. Take yourself, put yourself much slower. I got a game plan and everything. I'm just going to leave myself in the corner here, and then he doesn't have as much of an angle to approach. He did pick up some HP. Big freaking whoop. How much damage? He does four damage. So if we can hit... Yikes. If we can hit him into this, he will probably die in the ensuing explosion. So this is where you use your, your brain power. This one's a little... It's more embarrassing than most. Where is he? He did take damage from something. He's right there. Let's go. Okay, here's what you do. Give this guy a little crack. Like, like there. He's done it! You didn't see him, but he's actually done it. <laughs> All right. Let's keep moving. So as you get stuff uh, for beating levels, you do get... A lot of currency slash rewards. And I know you can use those to get, like, chess. I don't even know what the chess really entail. Um, but I'll tell you what. For this one, you need an eye and a demibug. Can I? I was just going to say, apply that. Or an eye or a demibug. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't you put a, a bug up? Why don't you put a demibug in that spot? And then a bone? Why don't you put a bone in that spot? We got a chest. Choose one reward. Let's go do or do not. There is no try. What did I get? Uh, bone? Yeah, there we go. Is it a quote? I think it was a quote. 
Pear Bear. I wonder if that's a new monster. Unlocks one beast. Bug Bug Eye? I don't think we can do it. How about Repost? Bone Bone Bone? I Bug Bug? Cannot do. Hold on. Can we? We can do that one still. Can't do that one. Okay. So I, the quote, I'm, I'm sure, is what you get when you actually... Really? Maybe I'm maybe I'm dumb. Hold on. Start here. Eyeball. Then here. Bug. Yeah, we can't we can't do this one. I am a fool. All right. Well, that's that. Hold on. Quests. Play one match with a friend. Play four online games. Win three online games. Probably not going to get that done here. This definitely seems like the kind of game is more like you approach a friend of yours and you go, "Hey, download this so we can play it together." You know what I mean? Otherwise, you're going to be here doing the uh, adventure mode with me. But that's kind of... There's like a spectrum. As far as like multiplayer indie games go. You know what I mean? Sorry, I just kept clicking the button. It does say starting. But I feel like it's not starting. Oh, that one started. Um, you know, there's... Hey, there's a lot of people playing this. I can get in a match in two minutes. I.E. Rocket League. And then there's... Uh, Deals two damage on touch. Okay. Uh, hey, play this together and we can play at the same time and it'll be a lot of fun. That's where Furry Fury lies. And then there's... Don't bother. <laughs> What's your ability? Okay. Pretty standard, really. We want to starve you of potions. Egg of Light. Does not hurt team of matching color. Opposite team additionally takes one damage on touch. Okay. Does that mean when I hit you, you become my color? No. It does not. But it's the thought that counts. Oh, I gotta kill the mummies, not the stone boulder, dude. My mistake. My mistake indeed. So these guys get HP when they kill these guys, right? Hold on, let me, let me try that again. What, what's your thing? Okay, no matter what, you're gaining HP if you touch those guys. Understood. Well, so Stone Lord, I should not... My, my quarrel is not with him. That being said, I saw a great opportunity to yeet him and pick up some results as well. So, I mean, <laughs> it seemed like it, maybe we can get a reward for doing so, you know? Okay, hold on. I still have 10 HP, but we, we got to do better than that. I do feel like we're going to need abilities for sure. So I thought that was sensible. We also killed two of those uh, spawned enemies that I was a little bit more potentially perturbed by. It's okay. Every Everything's a process here, okay? So I'm thinking this looks pretty good to me. We got another two abilities. Hold on, you are... I don't know, are you my color? You're orange. I am not orange. Turn blue, please. I beg you. I'm trying to... finesse this to also give us... Um, HP and, like, strength on each turn. It's not working out too well, to be honest with you. Where are we at? I want the bubble, dude. We need two more. For now, you know as well as I do. You got to send that guy into the freaking stratosphere. He hit me for one. That's all right. I think I'm safe for a turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then... Smash this guy down here. Why, why am I going to take damage off of this as well? I'm not. That was a great hit. I don't know what orange means. Maybe orange is just their team outline and I'm a fool. We deserve to lose that one. I'm just going to own up to it. Start me again. I didn't even want to be on that one. I wanted to do this one. There we go. This one sent me. I've never been great at these, uh, these puzzle games, to be honest. But I think it's a novel enough design that I'm willing to stick with it. What's your thing? You just get more attack after you grab five. That's uh, personally a dream come true. Okay, so I got to send you into the poison flower. 
Great start. You know we're getting hit. I was just hoping we wouldn't get hit too much. Now. This is touchy. I think I like this. We might end up having the monsters hit each other. We didn't, but we left ourselves in a very defensible position. That, as far as I'm concerned, worked pretty well, to be honest. I can't really be, uh, be too annoyed by that. So, I think my next step is... Uh, if I could just hit this... But slow the bounce. Actually, I think I like that bounce right there. That way we have some HP to get next turn. They're probably not going to hit me. For all I know, they might as well hit each other. They might hit some poison flowers. We're playing a, a stealth game this time. Oh my god, there's so many poison flowers near the HP. Okay, what? how are we going to handle this? So simple, even a child could understand it. We're going to grab the HP. Put ourselves in another relatively defensible position. I don't think this is too bad. We didn't get hit into the poison flowers, so I'm a happy camper. Now, this is where stuff's getting real. You might say, NL, your strategy seems to look an awful lot like... Um, just trying to avoid the enemies and hoping the AI leads to them getting killed. I'll say, chat. Shut up. How you feel about that? So there is a dream move here. I think that's it right there. We're trying to hit this guy into the poison flower. It's like 20 ricochets. He's not quite going to hit the flower, unfortunately. If we'd really yeeted it, we might have had a better chance. Yo, they're all... They're fighting each other for the, the limited potions. Okay. Again, be, be shrewd on this one. Be smart. Definitely not smart to put yourself in the poison flower. I like that because it let the neutral minion suck up the potion so that the other enemies couldn't get it. Okay, you hit me. Congratulations. Big whoop. So you have 6 HP. Oh, oh you guys are going to die to poison. So you are easily yeeted. So the the step here, we're playing it like a strategy game. Just take the yeet. It's not like you're gonna, you know, land any shots. You guys are fighting each other here. It's now a battle royale, and the final circle's closing in. Just knock him into the poison. He didn't get knocked into the poison. In fact, you knocked him into some HP. That's alright, I have 11 HP. I have a feeling we're gonna be just fine. Hold on, I, I have high, high hopes and aspirations. Check this out. Many people would tell you this is inadvisable. Those people... Would be correct, I did just get hit by poison. But this guy's gonna die to poison. And you're gonna die to poison. So as far as I'm concerned, now it's become curling. You just land yourself, yeah, right on top of the poison flower, good idea. But at least not in the poison, and this guy explodes. Alright, we'll do one more. I lived. And I'm not, uh, I'm not ashamed of my performance. I think we had, we came up with a strategy that actually got the job done. Two players online. All right. Start me again. I will not stop until we beat this mummy mission, or alternatively, until the uh, we die enough that I get disheartened. <laughs> those are, those are your two options. So I, here's what I like. Step one, actually. Step one. I like hidden those out there. I think we're relatively safe. Plus, I want to maintain. Zone control of where the potion spawned. Mission accomplished, clearly. What's your ability? Does not hurt team of matching color. And you take one damage on touch, even if you're going faster. Okay. How'd you do that? Oh, because you're standing on the thing, I think. That makes sense. 
How much damage? You do two damage, you do one damage. So I would really like... That's pretty much how I wanted that to go down, believe it or not. I wanted to get the, the power up for myself and maintain relative safety. I think this is one where we might want to take some time and, and you know, build up. So I think we should try to overshoot this one by just enough so that this thing is not going to hit us. I think that thing is definitely going to hit us if, if it wants to. But remember, take advantage. These guys, they're infighting. They're fighting themselves. That's ill-advised. It's all right. They're still fighting each other. I just wish I could make this my own, my own color. Okay, this is a great yeet, though. So we preferably, I'd like to ricochet, maybe like, like right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'd like to, I'd like to go up after I hit you, if possible. I don't want to really send myself into the corner. I think I like that better. Got a lot of damage out of the spawner. Ah! They're gonna have one more turn to get closer too. Oh, well, I mean, not if you hit me. But they did gain HP out of that, so there is, there are negatives associated. This does two damage instead of one, which is always nice. But I have to hit you before I hit anything else. Okay, grab the potion, skip. Uh, I didn't want to hit the ball. But apart from that, I think that went okay. But I am... Uh, Increasingly concerned about our ability to operate. Go ahead and send me... Oh, I really wanted you to send me straight backwards. Okay, just yeet me. This one's tougher. This one... You gotta you got have your all on this one. In particular, I think our turn one set us up for failure. But anyway, suffice it to say... I say this anytime this happens. If you're watching a, like a Northern Lion Tries Let's Look At sort of video, and I don't talk about the game, instead I just talk like I'm playing the game, that's always a good sign. And this is basically how I feel about this right now. So hold on. If we just land, like, here, do we get the ball? Yes. Okay. Now you're on the ball. But check this out. You left me a super yeet. Although, to be honest, hold on. Trying to make sure I finish in the zone. Is my ball. It's your ball. That's my mistake. It's your ball. I should have known that. Um, the thing is that you haven't considered is that it's actually my ball. And the thing that I haven't considered, and this is my folly, is that it's actually your ball and I apologize for that the thing that you haven't considered <laughs> I think that this game we're playing right now is not going to do well for us in the future but I also think that if I just hit you at max power here maybe we'll win and that clearly was not the case but we'll try again one thing I would love to run by the devs. Hey, what if he just threw a quick restart button in here? You know what I mean? Instead of forcing me to go back to the main menu, putting a picture of my cat, a cutie though he is. What if we just had a button that was like, I'm a dummy. This is the button I hit every 15 seconds when I haven't played well. So I don't know. Maybe I'm putting too much emphasis on the ball. You know what I mean? Maybe we'd be better off taking a defensive approach. Like, what if you just put me right there behind that wall and then see what these guys do on turn one? Didn't even take control. That's, that tells you everything you need to know, I think. Unfortunately, we don't really get much out of this either. So why don't we, why don't we cast the first stone? Quick little hit there. I still think we won't be hit. 
We're gonna be hit, but slightly. We're not gonna be hit at all. We got hit, but just a, it was an incredible move. I'm stunned by the caliber of your move. Well, there's no way we're getting out of this without hitting them. Did we do any damage at all? Dude, these freaking little grubs here are driving me crazy. They, you made the AI too strong. It's a classic problem. Now we control the ball is the thing, so I cannot be hurt. They took my they took my potions. They're doing three and four damage each respectively. That's that's suboptimal for me. So here's my thinking, okay? Why what if you grab this? It's a little bright on the screen. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. What if you grab this, then get the heck out of dodge and see what happens? We're in a real rough spot. I do want to hit you with the ball. I want that to be clear. So what we're going to do is prevent you from hitting... Hold on. Prevent you from hitting... The maggots. And mission freaking failed, just for the record. I don't know. This, this one's... You did five damage to me! How are you supposed... Okay. Take me back to the main menu, okay? That one's a guaranteed loss. I'm gonna give it one more attempt. The only thing I can think of is these freaking enemies scale so fast with the gosh darn uh, damage. With the potions. We gotta put ourselves in, in a position to nail the potions, okay? So here's here's my new strat. You're gonna, you're gonna like this one. I guarantee it. I wanna land here. <laughs> I don't know. That seemed actually pretty good. Okay, the potion did not spawn where I expected, but that's okay. We have control of the ball. Perhaps more importantly... I don't know. We could just also ice the crap out of them. Instead of trying to dominate the potion game. If we could at least take care of one before things got spotty, I think it would be okay, you know? Five and eight HP? I mean, this is like, just send them, dude. We did give him a potion. In fact, I, no, 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 we, we did give, we gave him one potion, not two. That's okay. Yo, you, do you see what I see? Send this guy into his buddy. Come on, you have one HP left. You should be dead. You should be dead, dude. I don't know. This one's above me. <laughs> but that's Furry Fury. It's actually a unique and cool little free-to-play puzzler. You can play with a friend online. Don't rely on the community to be there for you. But uh, perhaps one day. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. Check it out on Steam. I'll put a link in the video description below. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!